that the Israelites kept, kept growing in number. He says, let's oppress them. And then he realized that the more they oppressed them, the more they grew in number. The more they oppressed them, the more they grew in number. Perhaps one day we need to talk about that. There is growth in oppression. Anyone who thinks they are oppressing you, they don't know they are providing a platform for you to grow. There is no growth in comfort. Growth only happens when you find yourself in a place of discomfort. Sometimes God sees you that you are too comfortable and he allows persecution and tribulation so that you may grow. He, he oppresses them, he oppresses them. He says, no, uh, let's kill them. Then he called the minister of health. He says, um, instruct all the midwives in all the hospitals. Every child who's been born, if he's male, he must be killed. If he's female, he must be left to leave. Mm. Even during the time of Jesus Christ, they were killing uh, 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 the boy child. The, the devil has always targeted the male child. You go around today, you look at the composition, the composition of prisons, male child, street kids, male child. The devil always had a problem with the male child. Okay. Perhaps you need to talk about that one day. Because he understands that the future lies in the loins of the male child. Mm. If he deals with the male child, there is no progression for the nation. Mm. So he attacks the male child. All sorts of things. Let's kill them. From the age of two, you kill them. And then the Bible says, but there were these midwives who feared God. So Kaunda and Moses says, Sahawa. They said, we are not going to kill this one. And Moses' mother, and the Bible says, and Moses' mother saw that the child was fine. And, and he hid, and she hid him for three months. When she could no longer hide him, the Bible says, "Well, that now this is this is this is the manner in which they were being killed." But the man who are now one and two, who we are now one, but the child who are young pastor, who lamo in Nile, they would be drowned in the Nile River, and the Nile River was strategic because amongst the things that the Egyptians would worship, they worship the Nile River. The Nile River was their god, but their gods resided in the Nile River. So when they took all these children and drowned them in the Nile River, they were basically making a sacrifice to their god. So these children were in the position or under the auspices of the gods of the Egyptians. So Moses' mother says, look, I will not kill my child. I will not allow my child to die. Then, 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 she says, I will, I will shoot a basket for him. And then, whatever he did to me, when Abba, Abba, the basket, was the one, Father, who won, who you did to me, and there is a basket, why can't I eat basket? Why you never, who love you, in a year, who love you, 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 who So when Moses came back, he faced his own mother face to face. 
there were shepherds, Abamena, Sisi, so Balusa, but Abamena is in Fusa. So they would hire out their services, Kubantu Abamena's needs. So they would make sure that they, had, they, 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 they study and understand the layout of the land and the seasons of the time. So the buyers were like, let's go to a man of money, the buyer, let's go to a so that they call they, they, they lead them in correct paths. We can as look level. By ends are wrong, by ends are in another. So that Abba means you better than no one at a loose. But hey, Yababona won't get at a loose. But I have Yabona no Malusi. I see who's better than we are. I see who's better Certainty is the enemy of faith. Mm. Whether it's certainty, 
There is no need for faith. Right. Why would you need faith if you are to You need doubt. Where so that faith can kick in.